All right, so we looked at arrays, and the only catch we found in arrays is that uh, you cannot grow or shrink the array. So Java provides uh, the collections class, and, and that, that collections, collections, and in their collections there are lists. Lists are lists of objects or collections of objects that you could uh, mutate them, meaning you can grow it. It's mutable. You can grow it or shrink it, okay? So let's, let's create a list of colors, for example, just to follow the same examples. Let's say an array list of type string, right? So that's, that's, that's it of type string and colors also. And let's say, I'll comment out all of this because we don't need this code, just so that you could see the difference. Okay. And it's of type colors. Okay. It, it, it is of type string, colors, uh, array list, new array list. And here we go. So basically we, we created an array list of type string, the components of the array list, each, each object inside the array list, it's capable of holding uh, objects of type string, okay? And then I could say uh, colors.add, and I will add blue, all right, I could say colors.add uh, red, mm -hmm. and then colors.add uh, green, all right, so here it is. So we added these colors now to loop to uh, to to display them. I could do the for each for each. Here it is for each string string color in colors. Okay, and you can iterate over them and print them. So you could say uh, uh, s out s t s out uh, color. Here it is. So basically, when you run it, you'll see that it will show the list of colors. Here it is. Right, so you can also say you can uh, remove, you can update, you could say colors dot, for example, I could remove one at zero. For example, this will remove the the first one, which is blue. Okay, I'll show you. So let's put a breakpoint before that. So this is, I'll break, put a breakpoint before remove. And instead of pressing the play button, I'll press the debug. Okay, here it is. Here it is. So it did stop here. If you look at colors, colors has one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three elements. At zero is blue, right? So when I remove at zero, so now when I say step over, I mean execute this line, here it is. Well, basically, it removed blue and it pushed everything up. So basically, it removed blue and now it pushed red up and then it pushed green up. You could see now red is at zero and green is at one. When you run it, you could just say run it. It will show now if you go back to the um, to the uh, to the to the log, you could see that it's now printing. Um, it should it should only print uh, if you run it. Let's see if we run this code. It should only print red and green. Here it is because the the blue the blue one was removed. Okay, so that's how you remove. You can add and remove. You can also retrieve something at a specific index. You could say, for example, colors dot get, and you give it an index. It's going to return the string at that index. Okay, you can also sort. So basically. To be able to sort, I will use collections. There is a, a library or a class called collections, and it has a sort function. And you can see that there is a two kinds of two, sorry, two sort functions. We'll look at them in a little bit. But you could see that the sort, you pass it a list, which is an array list, is, is an implementation of the list interface. So you could say, for example, you pass it a list, and you could see it doesn't return anything. So basically, it's going to be an in-place sort. See? Sort, and you pass it the list, which is of colors, and it's going to sort them. Let's uh, remove this remove. Okay, so and make the sort before the printing so that we could see them being printed. And you run them, here it is. And you could see that they are sorted, sorted in ascending order, blue, green, and red, okay? Now, what if I want them to sort in a different order? So in, in the opposite order. To do that, you just have to um, uh, tell it how to sort. So basically to tell it how to sort, if you look at collections, you see here collections.sort or maybe I could go to the collections uh, uh, here it is so if you look at the collections class documentation and if we go down all the way to sort right to the sort function so we'll go here and say sort right if you go slowly here you'll see there is a sort function where is that sort 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 here is the sort Right, so here's the sort. There are two sort functions, right? One of them, you uh, pass it a list, see? And the other one, you pass it a list with a comparator. We'll see uh, in a little bit. So in the first case, when we did this, we passed it a list, right? 
and it was happy so why was it happy because the um, the string objects know how to compare one another how do they know how to compare one another is because they are comparable see it's a you pass a list okay and the sorts the specified list in ascending order according to the natural order of elements all elements in the list must implement the comparable interface right so the comparable interface has one method inside so if i open the comparable interface here is the comparable interface if you scroll down a little bit this is all what the comparable interface it has one function inside it's called the or one method inside it's called the compare to right and it has an integer and that integer is either negative uh, zero or positive negative uh, to indicate that it's less than the current object is less than the current the object that's coming in equal to if it's equal to if the result is zero or greater than uh, if it's positive right so basically what i could do is i could do here i uh, i could force it so basically we can see if you say sort sort and you specify the other one let's say we say colors right and i could say new comparator right and basically what it does is that this is an anonymous class right we created an anonymous class that implements this interface which is called comparator right and it says how did i know that it's the comparator i say collections again dot sort and you could see it tells you the type the type is comparator right you see here it, it it says that it's a list and it's a comparator uh, so i implemented the comparator and basically the comparator gets two objects okay so let's gets two colors you could say color a a and b okay the, the, or a and b that's two colors right so basically what you could do is you could say for example i want to return a dot compare to see compare to because the strings the string uh, object has implemented the comparable interface so compare to b so basically in that case it you are comparing a to b so now when you run it okay it's still sorting in this order okay so what i could do is that if i wanted to sort in the opposite order i could multiply it by minus one right minus one times this in that case it's going to flip the order see here now the order is flipped why because the sign of the compare to is what decides if it's greater than or less than so if i flip the sign in that case you could see that i'm sorting them in, in ascending order or descending order so that's the sort so the sort works really well with say for example the string is very easy what if i want to sort users so let's say i have these users so i have this user class remember we used it before let's remove all of that stuff we don't need all this interface stuff just because we used it for the interface example so here it is so let's say we have these users right so the user has an age has a name let's move the age to the end so the user has a first name and last name and an age right so let's say we want to sort them by age okay so here is the list right so let's create a list of users right let's add some users to it so let's say mm, array list so we don't need all of that stuff right remove all of this let's for the user let's create a two string i'll create a two string so that we can print them here it is the two string for the user now let's add some create some users array list an array list of user right i'll say users equal new array list right okay cool so that's the users now i can add users dot add new user right and then it has the first name last name and the age right okay cool so these are the different users i'll just add some users uh let's say this is uh bob uh alice tom and n and let's say this is tom smith bob smith this is alan uh, brown and let's say this one is tom green and uh, for example let's say n smith or something okay so basically we added them and let's give them some random ages okay and this is an okay cool. so basically i have these ages and so on so now if i want to sort these users right by by age there are two ways to do this right so there are two ways to do this let's say i want to sort them by age right so let's say let's have a function here that will print them so i'll do here for each user user in user right user in users right right now i'm going to print them say s out user right so that's what i'm going to do here right i'm going to remove the colors i don't need these colors anymore i have some users i'm going to print them out i'm not sorting yet 
but let's say here it is see whatever however i enter them it's the same order i'm printing them okay now if i want to sort them let's say i want to sort them by collections dot sort right and i just pass users now it's complaining why because users does not implement say for example the the user does not implement the comparable interface right so i have either it implements the comparable interface or i can pass it an implementation of the comparator right so now what i could do is i could implement the comparable interface implements comparable interface okay and of type okay comparable interface we go here boom and i know it's going to compare to other users so i could say user right and i go here and say implement methods boom and here we go so basically every user can now compare to another user i want to compare them based on what age okay so for example i could say this dot age minus o dot age right i could call o other user the other user right so they are comparing two users the current user and with another user right with another age so when you subtract them the one that's higher becomes the one if if the current user is higher than the other user then it's positive right the age the subtraction is positive otherwise it's going to be negative or it's equal to zero if they are equal age all right so now they now they are we implement the comparable interface if you go back here it's not complaining it's going to sort them by age so basically uh, um, it's going to sort them by age if you run it okay you could see that the top one is the youngest and the bottom one is the a is the is the oldest and they are sorted by age right so that's one approach of sorting is that the the, the class itself implements the comparable interface right now why did i uh, uh, add this user description here is because i want to be able to compare to other users right so let's say i didn't add it let's say I, i'll cut this and i didn't add it what's going to happen is that i go here and implement the methods clean this method it will it will compare to any object and i'm not interested in comparing to any object right i'm interested in comparing to users so i could a uh, provide this parameterization i could just tell it that it's uh, it's a user okay now another way to do the sorting is to do it like this collections dot sort users right let's remove the comparator from it the comparable interface i remove the comparable interface so that it a uh, i don't have to but i can come here and say comma new comparator and here it is so basically all what i did to for this to show up i didn't see i didn't type all this code you know i just told it that i want to create a new comparator you see here it gave me comparator as an option i just pick it and press enter and then basically it will tell me there are two users how do you want to compare them i want to compare them by o1 dot age minus o2 dot age i can do it this way and then i run it it's still going to sort the same way okay if i want to flip the order the same story i could say uh, minus one times this right and it's in that case it's going to flip the order so you run it and boom it will flip the order okay now if i want to compare them say for example i want to sort them not by age i want to sort them by by uh, their first name okay so basically what i could do i could say uh, it's o dot o one dot uh, first name dot compare to uh, o two dot first name right so basically you can do it like this and in that case they're going to be sorted in ascending order by first name see here they're in ascending order by first name you want to change the order it's minus one times this and it's going to change the order to be to make them um, sorted first by the uh, by uh, by a bit sorted in in, ascend in descending order by first name so that's how you sort it's pretty straightforward you know we'll use the collection dot sort either you provide the comparator or the object implements the comparable interface all right so that's how you could sort uh, please let me know if you have any questions thank you